Now, Coach, you come out uh, 75 to 63 win over Northeastern State. Um, just kind of give us a recap of how you think the game went today. Well, I thought um, obviously playing without our, our starting point guard against a team that presses the entire game, um, you know, put us uh, up against the wall a little bit. I thought that uh, Nick Van Osdell, who has been struggling with some injuries of his own, did an excellent job. I thought uh, Sky came in and did a great job, um, really just kind of right in the ship and just made sure that part was sound and got us in the offense. And, Expected. And sometimes that can really break your rhythm because we run a lot of things through Brad um, and he's a great communicator on the court so that made a difference. In that first half, I didn't think we contained the penetration very well. We've been doing a good job of that as of recent. I thought we got, uh, got out of stance a little bit and it forced some uh, help situations and they got us in the glass pretty handily. And they won a lot of 50-50 balls, but honestly I thought they out tough us with some stretches in there. Um, we were moving the ball pretty well, and then uh, we kind of got a stagnant situation. Had some really some miscommunications out there. Had the wrong guys a couple times, and, and uh, gave them some easy offense. And by the fact is, we were lucky to battle to a, a tie at halftime. And then the second half, defended exceptionally well. I think we held them somewhere in the 20s uh, percentage. We ended up under 35 shooting for the game, and, and, and Corey was a monster. I thought LJ and Chandler were very good, getting loose balls, turning them into transition, and um, really limiting their transition as well. All right, Corey, heck of a night. Uh, 40 points, 13 rebounds. Um, not saying you started off slow. I mean, 15 points in the first half is, is pretty good, but one of six from the, behind the arc uh, in the first half, and then you finish four of 11 uh, from behind the arc. Just talk about the difference between the first half and then just exploding for 25 points in the second. Um, the first half, I think I was forcing a little bit without, like you said, without Brad and without Sam. I felt like I was, I was just forcing the issue a little bit too much. In the second half, well, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say I didn't force the issue just as much, but the shots fell, and uh, that was a big factor. That's good, good. All right, Coach, a um, lot of rebounds in this one. Um, 41 for you guys, 34 for Northeastern State. Um, were you expecting to grab more rebounds than the Riverhawks, or was that pretty much the battle you saw on the boards? Well, you know, I, that's because we held them to miss shots. I mean, I thought, that was, that's really more of a, something to attribute to our defense that are actually rebounding. Because I, I thought that was, to be honest, was a poor rebounding game for us. Um, I don't know how many ended up with this as an incomplete stat sheet right here, but I think it was 15 or 16 offensive rebounds for them, and that's way too many that's going to get you beat. But that's part of what they do. I mean, they drive you down. Um, they get you in rotation situations and they rebound one on one. They've got some very good athletes. Um, and for whatever reason, we are, we've been doing a good job of coming up with those 50 50 balls we did tonight. Um, but this guy got a lot of them late. Um, I thought Chandler was excellent late uh, as well, getting on the glass and uh, getting over a little bit off the bench with us. And, Coach, just to touch on, you know, you guys did have 15 turnovers, and Northeastern State did take advantage. They had 14 points off of those turnovers. Um, were there, how was their defense, or was it just you guys making some little mistakes here and there? You know, they're, they're averaging 20, forcing 20 some turnovers a game, and that's what they do. Um, you know, and, and, and now the good thing, some of our turnovers, we had some dead ball turnovers there. Um, it wasn't as many runouts. What you want to avoid is the pick sixes in those situations. So I, I thought overall, to be honest with you, when you're, when you're playing with a new, uh, a new group of point guards out there that are not used to playing 30 minutes at the one, 40 minutes at the one, um, you know that that's pretty good. That, that's pretty good for uh, getting your rhythm as a group. The other thing that I think equally important is our shot selection was very good in the second half. So unexpected shots against a transition team can be just as dangerous as a turnover. And I thought overall um, we found good shots. We got good shots. We found some ways to get a couple free throws and kind of get the game slowed down a bit. And um, we got enough time to stop. All right, Corey. Uh, you guys have. Pretty quick turnaround, um, not the usual Thursday, Saturday, you know, weekend series, but Saturday and then turn around and play Central Oklahoma on Monday. Um, tell us how you can take this 40 point game into Monday and help you and your teammates pull out a victory. Uh, I usually approach the game, uh, each game the same way. I've got to come out with a chip on my shoulder. And especially if we're down two starters, and I know that we have guys that are capable and it's the next man up mentality, and I think we can do that. But uh, I, like I said, I usually come out with the same mentality every game. So. All right, Coach, and just your thoughts on Monday's game against Central Oklahoma? You mentioned we get deep about his 40 points into this game. Do we get to take any of those points <laughs> into the next game? I wish we could. <laughs> take 11 of them, so that's one by 12. <laughs> uh, you know, they're a very, very good man-to-man -man defensive team. Uh, and they have a very physical, athletic team. They're going to um, get on run on you a little bit. They run a lot of ball screen stuff, some stagger stuff. We're going to see a physical team, and um, the team is going to really test us. 
um, in, a, in, a, in a short turnaround. So I, we'll be we'll be ready. We'll get after it tomorrow and get get prepared for them um, as a team, and then we're ready to toss it up on Monday night. All right, Corey. Congrats on a great game, Coach Corey. Good luck on Monday. All right.